Hello and welcome to PE at Home with Mr. Holmes. Now I've had a lot of requests for some football based videos, so I'm going to do one for you today on keepy uppies. I'm going to go through lots of different challenges, starting at an easier level, moving on to some more, more complicated ones. Uh, so you find the right level for you and see if you can improve your keepy uppy skills. Now, what are we looking for today? Very important to keep your eyes on the football as uh, you go to kick it. If you take your eye off, then who knows where the football's going to end up. So follow my lead on some of these challenges and see how you get on. For challenge one, you're simply going to drop the ball onto one of your feet, kick it up and catch. I'd like you to try and do ten of those, catching it each time. Now notice I'm not throwing the ball up, I'm just holding it out in front of me with two hands and dropping the ball. I'm then keeping my eyes on the ball and watching the ball hit my foot and kicking it straight upwards into the air. If I want to make it a bit easier, there's two things I can try. Number one is I can allow a bounce before I kick the ball, just like this. And number two is I can allow a bounce after I've kicked the ball. To give myself more time to catch it. So remember, first challenge to do it without any bounces. If that's too hard, allow a bounce before or after the kick. Try and get 10 in a row and then move on to the next challenge. Once you've done challenge one, uh, challenge two is going to be the same but with your weaker foot and that's going to be very difficult. Uh, so again, without a bounce, with my left foot, that's too hard and it will be for lots of people using their weaker foot. Allow for a bounce before the kick or after the kick. For challenge number three, we're taking our hands out of the equation. Now it's getting hard, so focus on the first two challenges, and that's fine. If you don't want to go further than the first two, no problem. For this one, we're not going to be using our hands. We are going to be allowing a bounce in between each keepy up. If you need more than one bounce, that's also fine. Nice gentle kicks. I'm not hitting it hard. Just a gentle tap. Again, I'm watching the ball really carefully. And that was about seven. Try and improve on that score. Once you've done that, try with your weaker foot. And see how many you can get on that. Finally, on the Keep You Up Challenge, can you do some without the ball bouncing? Include your weaker foot as you get more confident. Good luck, see how you get on. 